This is the moment Adam Galitsky became the first paralyzed man in the U.S. to finish a half marathon using an exoskeleton. Adam wears an exoskeleton to walk. It took him just under 20 hours to complete the 13.1 mile journey across Portland, Oregon. Something that typically takes non-disabled runners just a few hours to finish. Race officials let him start a day early to help him reach his goal. About three and a half miles out. Here we go. Finish line. Ah, uh, man. Adam trekked through the night, saying it was physically the most difficult thing he's ever done. It's awesome. So how, how long have you been walking, Adam? Oh, I would say about 15 hours at this point, easily. It took four battery changes, and at one point, the hip on the exoskeleton broke, setting him back an hour and 15 minutes. but nothing was gonna stop Adam. Got the, the hip fixed, we good to go. His father was with him the whole way. We're doing great and Adam's doing the best. <laughs> I'm sure I, I, I get on his nerves a little bit. Um, but no, I mean, to have, to have my dad would be incredible. As well as a team of volunteers and other runners on the road who were there cheering him on. Adam was left paralyzed from the waist down after a car accident in 2005. Ten years after being injured, he was given the opportunity to use a rewalk robotic exoskeleton, allowing him to stand up and walk again. The race in Portland was part of his One Million Steps tour, where he's walking one million steps in road races throughout the country. He hopes the tour and his organization, I Got Legs, inspires others to find their inner strength while raising money for the disabled community. I'll probably be really sore, and uh, I'll, when I uh, reflect back, I'll say, damn, that was, that was freaking awesome. Adam plans on competing in the Los Angeles Marathon in March of 2019, with a team of support behind him every step along the way. I'm Kelly Nealon for InsideEdition.com.